Hey everyone, Adrian Field here. So today I want to actually share with you one of my favorite things to do in Bali, which is fabric shopping and making clothes. Most of you probably don't know, but my entire career has been in fashion. Right now I own a brand called Tibetan Socks, which is a brand of hand-knit woolen items from Nepal that I sell internationally. But prior to that, I actually used to have a women's wear label that I designed and manufactured in India to sell in America. And even before that, I used to be a celebrity stylist and a magazine editor in New York and Los Angeles. So my whole career is in fashion and it's really something that I love so much. Today, I'm going to take you to Denpasar. There's a street called Jalan Sulawasi, which is famous for its fabric shops. That's where I go to buy this kind of tailored fabric. Of course, it's a shirt that I made here in Bali. And I'm looking for a linen fabric to make two types of jackets. One is a double-breasted blazer and another is a safari type jacket to match actually these white linen pants that I made last month. I'm really excited. I'm gonna order a go car and we're gonna head out. Let's go. All right, this is Jalan Sulawasi in the Denpasar area, and behind me are the different fabric textile shops. This is where I come for all of this kind of fabric, the kind of like tailored stuff that's really good here, linen, uh, cute prints. So we're gonna go inside and take a tour of the shops and hopefully find some good things today. What fabric you like? What material? Uh, sorry, sorry, linen. Done. This is one of the shops I like. They have really nice um, like tie-dye fabric. This is my favorite fabric shop here oh, yeah, in Jalan Sulawasi yeah, called Mura Dua and I've bought so many different fabrics here for shirts, pants, everything. They have really, really nice prints. I was actually thinking before about buying this and making a nice short sleeve shirt out of this. But today I'm really looking for linen to make my double-breasted blazer and my jacket. So I'm looking today for the linen fabric which I bought here to match these pants which I had made really nice quality linen so we're going to look for that and maybe we'll find some other treasures here as well yeah but i want to show you guys this is the fabric that i came here to look for this white linen which matches the pants that i made but then i'm also seeing that this would be a really great color for the safari jacket that i have in mind so i'm kind of trying to figure out which colors to go for i think this one is going to be way better for the double-breasted blazer because it'll match with the pants and i'll have a full kind of suit look for the imaginary party that i might get invited to in bali but otherwise i feel that this darker one will be much better for the eventual trip to new york or to paris that sometime in the next decade maybe i'll make you know, I'll make it too. And here we go, another Snapchat with strawberries and glasses. Very cute. So this is really one of the best places to come to for a whole variety of fabrics. This actually I made a pair of jeans out of. I'm obsessed with this fabric, this kind of chinoiserie. Um, it's actually like a cotton denim. It was really nice. I made so many things from here. And this is sort of like a great one-stop shop because there are tons of prints great for shirting, but then also kind of the heavier fabrics that you can use for pants or suiting. Just a really, really big variety. So this is my number one favorite store, Muradua, here in Jalan Sulawasi. Alright, this is the last shop of the day that we visited called Toko Dua Lima and this is a really great place if you're looking for linens because they have such a huge variety here whether it is really nice soft stretch linens, you know, great for pajamas or for really beautiful summer shirts or a heavier linen that you want to make a pant out of or even they have so many kinds of linens that are great for home things whether it's cushions or whatever. So really nice fabrics. We found here 
some beautiful cotton stretch twill. I bought it in black to make a pair of black jeans. Here it is, this black, great, really nice stretchy, almost kind of it has a nice denim sheen to it. So this is gonna be great for a skinny jean, which I've wanted for a while and will have zero use for in Bali. But it doesn't matter because in my imaginary trip somewhere, they're gonna be really useful one day. Okay, so it's now Monday and I've come to my favorite tailor here in Changu and I would actually say maybe the best tailor in Changu, at least the one that makes all of my clothes, Ibu Ayu, here on Linjong. So I brought the fabrics that I bought from Jalan Sulawasi here and we have a few different items that we want to make today. But I like this rolled shoulder. Yeah. You see here with, the, you've got kind of like a rolled it's not flat across. Their, their no, shoulder is a bit raised. Okay, a little bit low. Not flat. Right, rope. Yeah, shoulder. a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll have a full suit because I have already the white pants that yes. match this. So yeah. then I can wear the whole thing together. We have some real button. Actually, this looks like it would be really nice to yeah. get. Okay. Yeah. Okay. From the shoulder, first. Shoulder measurement. 42. How about the length? The length, I think, should be right to here. Okay. This is actually a hard decision. I'm not sure if I want to make this safari jacket into a long sleeve or a short sleeve shirt. On one hand, I feel that a long sleeve shirt might be more versatile and more useful because this kind of a, still casual, but also a little bit too dressy for every day as a short sleeve shirt. I'm not sure how I would style that quite honestly, but you know what, maybe actually short sleeve, I think. Short sleeve? And I'll wear it just over like a t-shirt to make something a little bit more, a little bit more dressy than just if you're wearing like a t-shirt or a short sleeve shirt. So it's kind of another layered option. And frankly, then possibly could be used in Bali because a long sleeve shirt like this, long sleeve safari jacket, almost no use. Button, yeah? Button inside, yeah? No, I don't want button inside. No you button. No button? No button. Just tie closed. Just tie closed? Yeah. You need a little wrap? The belt like this. No, I Put mean, the yeah, fabric. the belt, okay. That I mean, because, because if. No. Oh, you mean wrap in wrap. Yeah, yeah, it, no button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only in a yeah, little yeah. wrap. All right, so it's been a week since I brought my fabric to Ayu and she's been working on my pieces. She just texted me today that my two jackets are finished. So I'm gonna go over now to her studio and I'm gonna try them on and really excited to show you my new pieces. Let's go. Okay, Ibu, how are you today? Good, thank you. Thank I'm you. so excited to see these new jackets. Okay. Oh, wow. This looks beautiful, but I have just one note. Is it possible maybe to change these buttons and make smaller? I don't know, let me try first, but it looks beautiful. And you notice I'm wearing the linen pants you made to match, so it's like a full suit. See the pants? Yeah, now it's a suit. Wow. I really look like very rich. <laughs> I look like an oil baron or like something. Like an artist. <laughs> like someone from the 1920s, like Nine Great Gatsby. <laughs> wow. I love it. Look the cut nice. is perfect. And I just love this fabric. This is perfect. I'm not 100% sure about the buttons here. I have to think a little bit more. But also I wanna show. So this is the lining that I had picked up 
I don't think that I filmed there the other day because I just went back to Jalan Sulawesi. I realized that I wanted to put a lining in this and I wanted something that was going to be a little bit more original and unique than just a plain white lining. So I went for this tie-dye uh, rayon. I think this is rayon viscose, yeah, right? Nice. Rayon lining, which is really light, perfect for the jacket because this is already a linen jacket. We don't want something that's too hot for the summertime or for this climate. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I love this cool lining. It almost reminds me a little bit of snake skin and it just makes it more original. Like this is a one of a kind piece because you know, I went and I chose the fabric and chose the design and brought it to Ibu Ayu and now I have a one of a kind piece that I really love so much and she did such a good job on the cut. It's just actually really surpassed my expectations. The shoulder is perfect and it really just looks so beautiful. I think this is the most beautiful piece that Ibu has ever made for me. I'm like I couldn't be more happy with it and I should show the details too that is typical to a very expensive Italian made suit that we have here, these buttons that actually work. And I just wanted to show the beautiful detail of this sleeved button. And it's just like if you wanted to really flex on your style, you can open up your sleeve and show that you have a functioning sleeve, a functioning suit sleeve. So I think this is just really chic. And then also it can show the lining. So it is kind of another nice little touch. Try the black one now? Yes. So this is the safari jacket that was originally intended to be with short sleeves, but we made a slight design change. We went with the long sleeves. And on first glance, I think it's looking very chic. And the details that Ibu did on the inside of adding a satin piping on the seams. So it just looks really, really nice. You can see from these details that this is just a really good job. I'm excited to try this on. little tight for space here in the back but okay this is my sort of chic homage to Yves Saint Laurent and I love it also you know I'm very into monochrome I'm very into black and white and things like that so the way that even this is styled now with the white linen pants from the suit and then this I think is really quite chic and I had imagined that this would be the perfect kind of thing to wear the next time I'm on an airplane because it's got the pockets and it's just really chic and it's also from the same linen fabric so I really really like this I think that the cut again is quite perfect I don't want a very tight or narrow shoulder I wanted something that's you know more loose especially you can kind of move in and I just think it's so nice as well I love it all right, I'm back in my home, actually my bathroom if you couldn't tell, and I picked up the last two items from IU, and I figured that it would be better to film them and show them here where the lighting is a lot better and there's more space to kind of give you a, a full look than in IU's teeny little studio. So anyway, today right now I'm wearing the black jeans. If you remember from that black cotton twill fabric that I got in the very last shop in Jalan Sulawesi, she made these into a pair of just like uh, skinny leg, or actually I would call this slim cut jeans rather than skinny because already I think when you're in your 30s, it's not that great of a look to go for a super skinny jean. So the cut for these is really perfect. It reminds me a lot of the cut of my favorite uh, brand, Sandro, uh, which is a French brand. Actually, I gave her a pair of jeans kind of to model off of that. So the cut I think is really perfect. I had her just make a slight alteration after the first time where she brought up the crotch a little bit to give it a, a bit of a closer cut and hugging on the bottom. But yeah, they're perfect. It's exactly kind of what I wanted and it looks really good too with this uh, bowling shirt that I made with IU a couple months ago as well. So this is a pretty good style. I'm really happy with that. Now the last piece I'm going to show you is the shorts. So let me put that on. All right, so here's the last piece that IU made for me. I'm really, really happy with these shorts. This was modeled off of something that I think I saw on Instagram, basically a kind of 50 style pleated short. You can see there's one pleat here. And after I gave it to her, I had the idea to do a contrast waistband because I already had 
the white linen fabric which was made for the double breasted blazer but then also I had some extra black linen as well that was from the safari jacket so I just think this look is perfect I realized recently that I didn't have any kind of more chic types of shorts that weren't just gym shorts which is what I run around in every day here in Bali but something that if I wanted to be a little bit more stylish that I could put this on if it's really hot otherwise typically I would wear some type of like a linen pant but anyway sometimes it gets really hot here as it's already becoming and in that case I just think the short is perfect and she did such a good job on the cut I had zero notes, nothing to change. I just was like, this is it, it's great, you did a great job. So what I hope to take away from this video is that besides the fact that Bali has some great tailors and Ibu Ayu is super, super talented, that fashion doesn't have to be expensive. That if you have a kind of sense of style or even just know what you like, go to a fabric shop and take that fabric to a tailor because almost all of the time you're gonna spend less money than if you're going to some big box store and not only that, but you're really supporting a local economy because you're buying that fabric locally and that's helping that shop and then you're obviously supporting the tailor who's local to you as well. And this is just such a different kind of concept than the world that we live in today of fast fashion and mass production where everything is standardized, everything is the same, everybody is supposed to look and dress the same. But no, go and really figure out what it is that you like. Maybe you're looking on Instagram or Pinterest or whatever and you're thinking like, oh, this is a style I would really like to have. Well then go and buy some fabric and make it yourself or make it with the tailor. And you know, this, for example, this linen jacket that I'm absolutely obsessed with, if I bought this at Dolce & Gabbana, it would be $2,500, $3,000, something like that. But this cost me, you're gonna fall off your chair, I think, when you hear this, but everything, together, the fabric, Ibu Ayu, etc., cost less than 60 US dollars. For this one-of-a-kind, custom, 100% linen, double-breasted blazer. So I just think that is unbelievable, and it's really worth kind of changing the way that we think about clothing, because, you know, back 100 years ago, everybody used to have their clothes tailored. Nobody would go to these big box stores that didn't exist. And, you know, when you have something that is made for you, for your body, I just think that it is so much more valuable and then you take more pride in it, you take more care of it, and it's something that's timeless. And I think that we as a culture and as a society really need to move away from fast fashion and this type of mass production and really understand where our clothes come from and, you know, whenever possible, who's making them. That's also what I try to do with my business, Tibetan Socks and Supporting Women's employment in Nepal. So for me, this is something that I'm so passionate about. And thank you guys for watching to the end of this video, those who've made it to the end. I hope it was fun for you. I hope you enjoyed the masterful work of Ibu Ayu. And until the next time, take care and see you later.